You see sitting here behind me another vacuum cleaner that I don't own has nothing to do with me apart from needing a bit of a refurb. So, before refurb video of this Panasonic, Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? We have a machine from Mr. James, yes, I think this is the last one that I've got to film. Don't know when you'll see it though, so I'll keep a little bit quiet about that. But yes, we have a Panasonic MCE 42M, yes, the electronic version of the trusty old Panasonic uprights. How lovely they are. Yeah, and it's pretty damn filthy, really, all over. It's mouldy, it's scuffed, there's paint all over it, the tools are full of dust. It is not a happy machine, but we all know what happens to not very happy machines, they don't stay not very happy for long, so what is it? Well, what, what do we have? We have the hose, typical, short, terrible, I'll be honest, there is an extension hose you can get to these, but I think James has one. So that sort of makes it okay. In here we have the small tools, back to one side, I'll show that, that later. Here we have the upholstery tool, and the dusting brush, very weird dusting brushes because they look like they should be really soft but they're not, they're quite stiff but they're better than some and they just sit under there like that we have an extension wand with built in very dusty crevice tool they just sit there and are perfectly happy really let us unclip the cable, it has a very non-age appropriate MK plug on it which Mr James very kindly said I could keep so thank you for that James, I shall stick a more age appropriate 1990s ish plug on there so right, it hasn't exploded so that's good, suction's on low, let's see if it actually works it does Shabby, that runs really, really well. It does smell a little bit though, so we best have a look in here. And first thoughts are that post filter is remarkably clean, so that's promising at least. Oh, what have we got in here? We have a oh, oh, it's been damp. Look, you see all the pock marks on the paper bag, that is solid, that is our smell problem, so we shall have that straight out. <laughs> the pre-motor filter is showing a few signs of dirt, so it's obviously not fantastic, but I'll dive into this bag of stuff that we'll have a look at in a minute. I've had a quick peek, so I know there were new bags in there. So we'll pop that in there, like so. Oh, much better. The suction is it's not fantastic because it has some. That's alright, that smells slightly better already. Let's have a look underneath because cannot fail to have heard that rather loud roar that seems to come from somewhere under here. Here we go then, this is the underneathy part and sadly 
the bit that I know about because there is a little bit of damage. If I just stand up and fetch a screwdriver oh, for in just a second we can see the underneath and it's there's a little bit of damage, a little bit of rust, lots and lots of filth. So I can see three screws. So I'll have those out. And the reason there's only three screws brings me quite nicely onto the bit that I took out the tools because this is what's left of the mounting for the fourth screw. There is nothing I don't think I can really do with that. It might glue back on, I suppose. But that really does involve... Oh, yeah, no. Look, it's just crumbled away into my hands. So, yeah. If you wanted to fix that, you would need a new hood. And I don't think it's quite worth that. By the time I've glued up that crack in the base plate, that will be fine really there's no point in going nuts about that that's the underneath of the base paint lots of lovely caked on filth and then we have a belt which looks a little bit worn going by all the bits of rubber splattered around the belt housing area we have the brush roll itself with quite stiff bristles actually and then that is the suction tube that actually the hose plugs into the back to the back of even. We have Qualtex belt fitted and that's about all there really is to see down there. Not quite sure. Maybe a good oil of the bearings and a new belt would make it a bit quieter but I do recall these being a little bit noisy anyway in that department so we could just be Worrying about nothing really. Oh, here we go. Marvellous. Where's your best see if you. Oh, hello. That's not good. And I think I know what that is, because all Panasonics, generally in the UK, have the same construction. And why that is blobbling about like that is... Down here, yes. That, annoyingly, and it's already been tweaked with that bit of tape, is worn. And that goes through there and into the main chassis. And that is what provides the pivot for this side. That side's got a clamp around the belt spindle as most uprights do. This doesn't. This relies on this plastic part here. If I can make it go through. Gosh this is fiddly. There we go being in there so it's not so it's to lock it all in so that's going to need some thought probably also some glue so we'll look at that oh I'll look at that in more detail when I refurbish it but for now for this video at least it should hold itself together it might also quieten it down a bit as well we can but only hope oh there we are there. That one there is a chunk missing out of the base plate in this back corner as well. But for the cost of getting a matching hood and base plate, you could buy one. You could buy one of these. They're always dirt, dirt cheap. Even without the electronic power adjustment, they did this colour. It would just be easy to get a whole donor machine. And I think with a little bit of glue should be all right. See if it actually works.
like at picking up dirt, we know the motor fans. really really well there was even some agitation see if we can capture that a bit better on the old camera so you're way down on the floor and I put a little bit of sand and hopefully we can roll the machine over the sand and in fact you can see here the, this is this has the open-ended brush roll end caps that the earlier ones used to have before I think some kid got his finger caught in them and there was a court case and they stopped doing it. Oh, I've been playing with the camera. Oh, gosh. I'm going to set my shot back up because you're not pointing. There we go. That'll probably do. Let's see. Turn the motor right now. Oh, yeah, look, we can stop it. That's so, there we go. That works well. But what else do we have with this machine? Well, in this little bag, Mr. James has been parts hoarding. That's what I like about Mr. James. He always gives me all the parts I might need for whatever work I'm doing. Oh, I just turn that light off on my camera. There we go. So what have we got? Well, we have a non-genuine packet of bags. We have an instruction manual. But not for this machine, which is a bit odd. We have the MCE 44, 46 and 47. Not the 42, but we have a manual. We have a spare tool door cover, which I don't think we'll need. In fact, if anything, it's more faded than the one that's already on it. So we won't need that. Let me just pop this back on. Just off camera have a post motor filter or we have a list of authorised vacuum service centres where are we? we are in Buckinghamshire at this precise second so oh, I can go to Marlow just up the road RJE Platt Electrical not there anymore there's one in Prince's Ridge but that's right by my house that's not there anymore how about Oxfordshire? How close to home could I get my Panasonic serviced? Um, I don't know, I cannot find Oxfordshire. Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Suffolk. Oh, hang on. O comes before S, doesn't it? Ah, N. Ah, Oxen. Ah, Tame. Tame Domestic Services, 68 Park Street. I know there used to be a vacuum shop in town. Sadly, looks very different now. It is now houses. It's opposite the BP. What else is there? Well, we have a very nice, genuine packet of bags, which I knew we had. That's why I put that in for this little demo. So we can put. I should really spend anything because we can HEPA flow it. So we've got some bags, which we won't need. We have a electrostatic clean filter. This is, I would imagine, oh, 
the replacement for that. So there we go, look, it's a nice brand new filter to be fitted. Oh, there's another instruction manual again though for the 44, 45 and 46. Not the 42, although they are identical in every single way. So that's alright. Oh, blimey. Another load of genuine dust bags. We've got five, four here. Ah, these are antibacterial. Oh, that, these should have been fitted instead of that other bag. Is that other bag wrong? It's antibacterial. So these are the two designs of bag that Panasonic ever did. I don't think I've seen these before. I've had tons of these. Never seen these. I had to take that packet up. It's torn all down its seam. So there's that. We have a brand new belt, which is good. We have the two end caps for the brush roll. Because they do just slide in. I'll just check with James if he actually wants those fitted or not. And for reasons I don't quite know, a spare brush roll. So I don't think we'll need. In fact, if anything, this is in worse condition than the one that's fitted. But <coughs> we can see. So there we go. We have all the bits we need and more to get this little fella up and running. It's never going to be a minter, but it does work very well, I must say. That's not too bad at all. So we have our pile of spares, we have our pile of vacuum cleaner, and I think we are done. There's not a lot more that I can really tell you about the thing because they are what they are. So it should be a nice, easy strip it, wash it, polish it, reassemble it job only. Just see if I can find a date wheel anywhere while I've got a key piece of plastic in my hand. But no, there are none. But this will be from the early 1990s, I imagine. These ran for a very long time before being superseded by the white one that is also very common and works very well indeed. But there we go. So for this MCE42M, next time you see it, it should be looking a good deal better and cleaner. So thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.